All right, my friends, welcome to today's episode. As we break down Strawberry Crepe Cookie here, we got a nice upgrade with the magic candy, and it's time for us to give you the toppings and biscuit guide all about Strawberry Crepe Cookie here today. So thank you for tuning in. As always, if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. On top of that, if you got a question, if you got a comment along the way, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you as always. So let's get into it here. As we break down this cookie, we'll give you the biscuits, we'll give you the toppings, we'll go for a run as we love to do here as always. And that's available to you down below. Let's go ahead and get going here for Strawberry Crepe crepe cookie so like i said we just got this amazing amazing upgrade here with our magic candy and look at that i got enough perfect timing here for us to go ahead and create strawberry crepes magic candy so let's do this quickly we're going to go back and talk about this cookie and then we'll come back to this magic candy however this is one of the greatest new things here with the latest and greatest update so okay first and foremost strawberry crepe cookie is a defense cookie it's a front cookie and on top of that this cookie has this move set right here crepe thrust pretty basic however at the same time a couple things about this so it uses the giant crepe arms to cause area damage reduces damage received by two allies targets cookies first with the lowest max hp so interesting that it can actually not necessarily target cookies um, a single hit damage there for almost 600 percent and damage resist plus 50 percent for eight seconds so pretty powerful this cookie was definitely something that was there to help survive with your team great for pve events um, great to help you get through the through the um, different events as well. So let's go ahead again and double down on our magic candy. So first and foremost here, these are the big things here. Strawberry Crepe Cookie releases their crepe energy to push enemies away, reducing their move speed and inflicting stun. They apply damage resist and HP shield to themselves and to ally cookies with the highest attack. So similar, also giving you survivability with your attack cookies. Strawberry Crepe Cookie then applies an additional damage resist buff proportional to their cooldown reduction. So key point there, while Strawberry Crepe Cookie is using their skill, they will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects. So very, very important there. Crepe Crash, skill area increase and resistant to knockback targets hit by skill stun for three seconds move speed minus 35 percent for 10 seconds hp shield 10 percent of targets max hp for 12 seconds damage resist plus 50 percent for 12 seconds stacks up to one time cooldown decrease proportional that to damage resist increase and cooldown minus one percent per plus 2.5 percent damage resist max at 15 percent so for every one percent cooldown you're going to get 2.5 percent and that's going to stack up to 15 so if you do the math two uh so two and a half five seven and a half ten then you got uh 12.5 15 so right there six percent on the cooldown which is going to give you that additional 15 percent so big big things there then additionally here at uh, at 10, you're going to get an HP shield for plus 10%, additional HP shield for 12.5, and 15% of target max HP as you go ahead and upgrade. I don't have enough um, to get all the way there, but we do have enough now to get the skill because of the fact that we do have the magic candy. So very, very big there. We do have some new things that certainly are going to impact us in terms of our biscuits and our toppings, and I'm excited to break that down for you right now but before we do let's go ahead and max out our cookies because that is certainly very important for us we'll move this up a little bit to 75 well we'll go to 70 there you go so you can see that damage increase perfect as always oh there we go back into our cookie now first and foremost let's go ahead and talk about the biscuits so what you do want to do is if you can get a legendary one we got a few of them here we're going to add one we'll go with the one here we can always swap if we need a better one um obviously a tune and reset and tweak and all those fun things but let's go with this one here for now perfect so a couple things about this in particular so as always just by leveling it up it's going to make a huge huge difference for you and your cookie so that is first and foremost that's going to lift attack that's going to lift hp now when we look at our bonus effects a couple things around this one so two ways to kind of go with this first and foremost damage resist is key that's going to make this cookie less susceptible 
to getting beat down. The other one here that you can consider is that cooldown, two to 6%. You could knock that entire cooldown down like we just saw if you can get that cooldown up to six. So just with that alone in the biscuit, that can be a huge thing to consider. Now, again, the strategy is gonna be combined on how you build between both the biscuit and the toppings. We'll talk about that here in a second. So damage is this big. Um, you can go with more survivability with additional HP here up to 15%, which is pretty awesome. Um, more defense if you want to as well. Damage versus bypass, you could put here because it is the only thing that you can get on the biscuits. However, not necessary um, for this particular cookie because it's more about survivability, more about hitting those other pieces. Um, so things like HP, damage resist, the cooldown are all gonna be really, really nice things. Um, we do have attack here. In this case, I would say you can go ahead and reset. You don't need the crit. Damage resist bypass, that's a really nice one at 11%, but we don't need that. So we'll keep going. Crit resist, we don't need. Damage resist, we'll keep it at 5.5, even though it could be way better, right? That's on the low end. So something to keep, keep in mind as you kind of tweak through these things. We'll leave that one for now and we'll go with this so that my friends are all the key pieces to keep in mind when you think about your biscuit here and particularly the legendary hard biscuit or your strawberry crepe cookie so now as i said we got to blend that into our toppings so when it comes to our toppings these are the key things first and foremost as always we say resonant or radiant when it makes sense um, for cookies so we always like to share that in this particular cookie and again we'll talk about two and three slots um, but you do want to be on solid almond you want to stay on that survivability. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So first and foremost, like I said, pairing between the two. Um, the other thing that you can do is make sure that you get that cooldown. So like we said, if we didn't put cooldown on the other one. You're going to want some cooldown here. If you can get that 6%, we're only at 2.5. You're not going to be able to take advantage of all the additional stuff on that skill set. So you do want to get it there um, to really make that big difference for you. So here we got attack, crit resist. We do have more damage resist. Let's take a look at the bonus effects. So again, we don't have the damage resist bypass here. However, we do have cooldown. So 2%, you could spread it across each of these. If we get three of them, that's going to get you to six. As an example, we do have our perfect biscuits and our perfect topping guide down below. You can check those out. Um, more likely, it's probably going to need to be spread against each of these, just depending on that percent tweak. It might be easier for you to get one slide lot um, on your biscuit as an example to do that so those are things that you can keep in mind however again i would prioritize damage resist i would prioritize hp and defense just for that survivability along with that cooldown um, as some key items there for you the resistance on the other stuff isn't bad again as a tank i'm going to give you much more survivability and things to consider so as we look at mine here again we got attack crit damage resist we got hp cooldown crit resist crit percent debuff resist this one isn't great um here defense cooldown crit percent um here defense hp crit percent don't really need crit on this cookie attack crit and damage resist so some things that i can certainly tweak and get better like i said on the on the perfect biscuits and toppings here so all key things to keep in mind for your particular build and your cookie as a backup for number two you could consider going with your swift chocolates here um, as an example just to get that cooldown you can get that five percent real easily there um, if you go that route um, but again solid almond is going to be the better choice because you're going to want that damage resist and survivability with this particular cookie and then when we break it down and look at mine we're well over 30 percent as an example um, and then in terms of the cooldown, we are only at two and a half. So not going to be able to take full advantage of what I'm suggesting you do take full advantage of. So that, my friends, is our cookie. We're at 268 thousand in terms of power let's go ahead and go for a run if you still got questions if you got comments let me know on this particular one because there are some key details like we just said and went through with this one to help you be successful all right 829 it is my friends you can check out some of our other guides we just ran the street urchin one as well it is time today to go grab strawberry crepe Hooray. Now, I may leave Street Urchin in there just for the damage because it's, it's fun, um, but we can try to run it without first. Oops, let's go back. There we go. And see if we can make it 268 against the world, as we like to say. All right, here we go. Strawberry Crepe Cookie. Boom. Look at that damage right there. Smack. 
Having fun, having fun. We may be able to get all the way through this with this one. Here we go. Let's get in early. Nice. Big stun. Look at that. Huge, huge stun. Lots of slowdown, which is super, super key. There you go. All in one shot there. Look at that. Damage down. Now again, like we talked about, look at that 11 second cooldown. You can make it faster, obviously, if you get to that uh, other one that we talked about. There we go. Huge, huge, huge. On to the final boss here. Let's see how much damage this thing's going to do to the big one. Is it going to one-shot? Nope, not quite. 100,000. Look at that. Double smacks. All right. We're going to take a couple hits, but look at this. Hardly any damage is getting through on us. That's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Huge life. Shield. Look at that, my friends. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A great run here with a great update for the fun cookie, strawberry crepe cookie. And I'm so happy that we got the magic candy on this one because this one I've always liked and had a lot of fun with myself uh, and was a big part of my PvE team originally, uh, particularly me as a free-to-play player early out of the gate. Um, offered lots of survivability for us. Um, and so forth as well. And now I went by it. Here we go. Nice defensive cookie here with our strawberry crepe. Um, as we did today here, I hope you enjoyed the episode and the breakdown of strawberry crepe cookie as we gave you the biscuits and the toppings, the strategy all around this particular cookie with the latest and greatest magic candy here, my friends. Um, like I said, if you still got questions, if you got comments, let me know. Would love to hear from you and feel free to join us in our amazing Discord server. Um, we got a great community here as well. Now, with that said, we broke down the biscuits, the toppings, this particular cookie for you here today. And with that, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here. Um, and thank you to all of our members. I truly appreciate that support. Memberships are available to you. It's a nice way to support the channel. Additionally, we do have affiliate links. You can check those out. Something for everyone, as we like to say. And don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, stay connected, my friends. We got a lot going on always, and I love seeing your stuff and your renditions here for this lovely, lovely community. With that, we'll see you again soon. Get out there, keep on running, my friends, and best of luck with Strawberry Crepe Cookie.